Hello, 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 hi. All right, Taurus, so baby, I'm like, coffee. I'm ready to hit. What's, what's up with it? Okay, Taurus, what's going on, baby? All right, Torians. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much, Taurus, for being here. I understand that one size fits all the ch uh, fits everybody on this channel, okay? If you want to hit me up for a personal reading that's tailored more to your energy or what's going on around you, just smiletarot at gmail.com. We'll go from there. Um, so Taurus is going ahead and get the reading out. All right, Taurus, here, what is the message here? I'm being drawn to this deck today. Okay, it says haters exposed. Taurus, there's someone in your energy trying to hear spirit. Let me show. Spirit's telling me to get out of here. Get this out of here. Intuition, yeah. Taurus, it's like somebody's trying to bully you, okay, spiritually. Um, also, Taurus, I'm getting this energy like bullying, like... How do I say this? Um, it's like through electronics. It doesn't have to do with the Mercury retrograde, okay? It, it may have something to do with that, but I feel like it's more like... Taurus, you need to listen to your intuition at this time. It's heightened. Spirit's actually giving many of you um, a sign that somebody is like very much in your energy. And it's not, I don't think Spirit will call them a hater, but I feel like Spirit's calling them not... To, they're, you're not they're not aligned. You're not aligned. That's okay. Thank you, Spirit, so much for that. Okay. You're not aligned with this person or they're not aligned with you. So you're always wondering, Taurus, why you and the specific person might always like have these... Um, you guys don't get along. You might feel like this person doesn't like you, Taurus. It's just that they're not aligned with you. Yeah, get more information. Okay, listen to your intuition, Taurus. So something you feel may not feel comfortable around someone. This could be a family member or a, um, a co-worker, something. Listen to your intuition. Also, you guys, protect your, 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 uh, your hair. I don't know why I'm meaning to say that. There's someone that like... Don't allow people to play in your hair, Taurus. Not everyone, okay? I'm just going to be honest. Yep, look, no. Get more information and no. So, Taurus, you've been wondering, is this person really, is this, does this person really have the my best interest? No. There's something that is a no here. I got this in someone, in a personal reading. The word no, or was that in, was that in one of y'all's readings? I've gotten that more than once. It's been coming out pretty lately, okay? It's been, it's been a no. Okay, let me get something here. Okay, I secretly want you to cheat on your current partner with me. I won't say a word. It's someone, Taurus, that's just like, that could be your energy, the scenario, but someone secretly wants you to do something, but they're not outright saying it. It's like they want to, like, see you get into, they don't have your best interest at heart. If there's someone, Taurus, you've been chatting with and you're wondering, does this person really side with me? Or are they going off telling other people? This person's not to be trusted. Okay, so first card out, babe. Ignore these fools. You're too fired for them. Ooh, spirit's telling you, Taurus. Listen to your intuition. Something's off. Hairs will always gaslight. Yeah, and then they come around like, oh, what, Taurus, why aren't you, Taurus or Crosswatcher, why aren't you speaking to me? Or what's going on? Like, things have changed. Is everything all right? Is everything going good with that situation? Because we were talking about the other day. Remember, did you, do you have any more things you want to talk about? No. Somebody's just all up in your business because they're going out telling other people. And you and this person are not aligned. Spirit's not calling this person a hater. They're just saying they're not aligned with you. They're not, you know, Taurus, we don't get into friendships and stuff that we're aligned with, with, you know, with every single person that we conversate with, babe, every day. We don't, you know, like we'll see people in the store. Hell, we're not aligned with them, but we're going to have a little conversation. This is someone you know, or someone that you assume to know. They got bad intentions, okay? Return to sender backfired on them, okay? Return to sender backfired on them. So Taurus, you might've had the feeling, or you already been, I feel like a lot of y'all's intuition is going to be heightened, okay? And you might do return to sender. You don't have to light candles and stuff to do return to senders, Taurus, just to let you know. You can speak the words. I rebuke you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. You can speak words. You are a powerful being. If you believe in it, you can do it. Some of you don't even believe in the situation. Somebody's sending you a lot of evil eye energy, and this is right in the middle. Look, it's right in the middle of the deck here. I mean, of these three cards. So let's get to the messages, Taurus, okay? You might hear Nala, but it's okay. Taurus, you hear me? She's fine. When people hear Nala crying, I'm like, you let her in, man. If I get up and let her in, then she hears somebody at the door, I gotta get up again. I gotta keep interrupting the reading. Look, man, y'all know I love my fur baby, okay? You know I love my fur baby. All right, Taurus. It's like, okay, see, this was at the back of the deck reversed. None of these cards are in reverse. But right up underneath it, Taurus, it's the magician. 
and then the page of and the page of pentacles somebody's trying to like have these conversations or start up these like you know a pentacle's solid could be pain from manipulation spells or something towards but it's not touching you you're gonna use your intuition towards you're gonna see somebody ain't right i'm putting that right in the back but right look look at this taurus yeah the thing to do is get away from this motherfucker and heal taurus you might sometimes sit around and think well did i just hear them say something like that yes you did you did taurus that slick thing came out their mouth for a reason bring your ass in here and quit quit bothering come on now, as soon as I start doing Taurus's reading, you want to come, man, you, be, you need to learn how to open doors now. That's just it. We'll learn that later, okay? Because you got to learn how to do your own thing, baby. Don't touch my deck, please. No. Anyway, Taurus. <laughs> yeah, look, seven of wands and the moon. What you don't see, Taurus, is that this is being blocked off. What you don't see is that someone does not have your best interest at heart, okay? Why you love yourself. You know, Taurus, your environment's good. You invest good in yourself. Someone wants you to feel this. That's about to change. Someone wants you to feel sad and shit. Someone also wants to block love out your life. We just saw the Queen of Cups. There's a King of Cups. Uh-uh. Somebody wants you, things to be blocked off for you. They... I don't know why I'm getting energy about hair. Look at this. I don't know why I'm getting the energy about hair, y'all. Where your crown chakra is. Protect it. Okay? Yeah, because look, there's a snake-ass person trying to keep you stuck. I don't... Could be a Pisces or a Pisces anywhere in your heart. Spirit, what's the message here? Yeah, honey. You're beautiful, Taurus. You're handsome, Taurus. Spirit, ignore these fools. You're too fire for them. What is this? Thank you, Spirit. Two of Cups. There's things, Taurus, that you might have going on in your life, Taurus. This doesn't have to be about love. This could be family members or something or... Just situation where you're in a connection with someone. Because we saw the king and we saw the queen and the king of cups. There's like a connection you're in or something. Someone's also trying to get at your partner. If you guys are with someone or you're trying to get with someone, like there's a connection that's coming together. This could be new or old. I'm not focused on the connection. I'm focused on the people that are around you that don't like it. And you need to listen to your intuition. Because somebody they say sly stuff and you be sitting there wondering, what the hell? Yeah, page of page of swords. They do a lot of watching and spying on your connections or even you just being in like in this energy where you're just like working with other people could be easily as a platonic friendship, anything. Somebody just spirit saying, ignore them. Like, look, make your money. Okay. we got the queen of uh, pentacles here. Make your money. Stay, stay up towards stay. You see how her head's down at the pinnacle? Like any other deck, even in the rider way. Okay. Um, the, the queen of pentacles is looking down at her pinnacle. She's not, she or he is not worried about nobody else around him. Okay. Spirit saying, ignore these people. Yep. Hierophant. Hierophant. Taurus, ignore them. Keep doing your thing, Taurus. And I'm also getting protection here. I'm also getting that there's a lesson you're about to learn about some people around you. Okay. You just know, cause it's like these people talk. Spirit, look, I need one. Yeah. Hunger. Look at this. Look at that. Can y'all see that, Taurus? Hmm. They want what it is you have. Seven of Swords, and we got the High Priestess. Listen to your intuition. Somebody around you, and they say some slick stuff, Taurus, and you may miss it. But then again, you're not missing it. You're kind of like, hmm. Yeah, Taurus, you heard that right. They said it right. They were hoping you wouldn't catch it. Somebody here is just phony. Yeah, justice, Taurus. This is going to be bought to justice, Taurus, especially with the Hierophant next to it. It's like you're in this energy of being protected, and spirits wanting you to listen to your intuition. Somebody with this Page of Swords and the page uh, and the Queen of Pentacles, we saw the Page of Pentacles at the beginning. Somebody, like, feels beneath you, so they feel like they need to try to get one over on you, okay? Two of Cups here. Somebody's hungry for your life, or they want the energy you, you have. They want to be you. They're hungry for what it is you got. They're hungry for power. I don't know what the hell this... That, 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 mm -hmm. So having the higher thing here right after the Justice card, those are two major arcanas, Taurus. I'm telling you right now, follow your gut and learn this lesson. You cannot talk to everybody about your business. Do you understand? You can't do it. Sit, people sit there, act like they're cheering and clapping for you, and then the whole time they sit there pretend like they're clapping. Look, they're throwing the middle finger. Fuck you. Hope you, hope you, you know, you dry up. Hope that doesn't work. Whoa! You hear other people clapping, but this other person got the middle finger. Taurus, please. Please. Why well, I feel like this is urgent. <laughs> Taurus, I don't think it's right. Shit. People be doing some dirty shit out here. But Spirit's saying, Taurus, that things are going to be made just right for you. But are you going to learn the lesson, baby? You're going to listen to your intuition. This page of swords with the Queen of Pentacles. 
somebody watches your money, they watch the connections you got, and they're hungry for what it is you, you have. Why does Taurus get that? Why does Taurus get this? It could be an ex-lover, it could be a new lover, it doesn't matter. Y'all won't know who this is. This person claims they're your friend or they're your, they're your confidant. They ain't going to say nothing. Oh, man, Taurus, whatever's going on, you can tell me. I don't talk to people like that. Ah. Hitter will always gaslight. What's this spirit? I don't want to bring out a negative message, Taurus. Well, yeah, this person thinks they're fine as wine. Okay, they think they're the shit, Taurus. They're not. King of Wands. This person just, they don't like the energy. They don't like, it's like this person gets compliments on their look. Taurus, you get compliments on your worth ethic. This person is starving for that energy that you got. This person likes the friends that you have around you that are genuine, people that are genuine or connections that you have that are genuine. The two of cups first came out. Spirit saying, ignore these fools. Some of you might be trying to get into a connection or you might be in a new connection or something from the past. Doesn't matter. It could be a mother and daughter situation where y'all are getting your, your, um, y'all's connection back together. Okay. A brand new beginning. Things are getting better for you and your mom or your mom, you and your dad or your sister or sibling. Something connected here that's on a mutual on a mutual scale, and you got people around you that are just hungry for information, 11-11, so they can go back and they can run and, and tear shit up and we'll tell the other person, well, Taurus said this or Crosswalk said, uh-uh. See, somebody's like passionate to screw it up. They bored. They bored. Spirit, haters will always gaslight. This person wants to come towards you, Taurus, they look angelic in some way, shape, or form. You think that this person would like... They don't need, you know, you'd be like surprised. This person's talking to me or they are might, might be popular, but they don't have genuine people around them like you do. you got to be careful of that. So that's why your intuition, Taurus, is being lit. Okay, <laughs> let's just put it that way. It's being lit for that reason because you got to learn how everyone is not clapping for you. That is the energy I'm getting. Nine of Cups in the reverse here. Okay, this motherfucker's selfish and all outside. They probably got some type of hidden addiction. Okay, but they want to act like they're better than you in some way, shape, or form. This person is like, you can't sit with me. I'm the cool one. And Taurus, time to move away from this shit. Cancer energy. The chariot. It's time to move away from it, Taurus. Because this person has you in your head 24 damn 7. Yeah, look at the world card. Yeah, Taurus, it's time. It's time. You're going to know who this is. And if you don't, you won't find out. Look at this. The magician came right back out again. This person, Taurus... <laughs> This six of cups in the reverse, Taurus. Someone like once you stuck this Taurus. This could be some an, an old friend, somebody you've known since school. Some of you, not all. So I thought this was a nine of cups in the reverse. It's a six of cups in the reverse, Taurus. This is, somebody wishes so much ill on you. They 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 want so much ill intentions on you. They want you stuck in this way of being. It's like Taurus. Maybe you started you know, doing better in life. You've been starting to put up some boundaries. I feel like there's someone that knows that you've made some type of shift and they're jealous. Uh-huh. You think they would not be? Yes, very jealous. That magician in the upright, I don't give a damn if it's in the upright or in the reverse. It don't, sorry, baby. It don't have to be in the reverse for me. You understand? Okay, three of wands in the reverse. All right. Three of Wands in reverse. I was at the back of the deck. Somebody doesn't want you looking toward the future, Taurus. Six of Cups in the reverse. They don't want you to find your soulmate, Taurus. Not just your soulmate, but they don't want you to be in your, your inner child energy, Taurus. They don't want you exploring, having a good time. Somebody here is just pure jealous of you, and they're hungry for power. I don't know why I'm getting that. Someone's power hungry around you, but they're upset. Here we go. They're upset in some way, shape, or form, Taurus, because they're upset and angry that you get it naturally. They have to be like this center of attention. They got to doll up. They got to make something look good. They got to be loud. Whoever this individual is, they just... And then they come to you, Taurus, hey, what's going on, buddy? You know, and you'd be like, why is this person talking to me? You know, or, they, or when they do talk to me, you know, we have good conversations, but why? You got all these other people lined up. Why me? Why you, Taurus? Because this person's nosy as hell. They're very immature. We got a lot of wand energy here on this end. The gaslight, passionate, okay? Passionate, nine of pentacles. Like, Taurus, you're, you're, look, you're naturally independent. You can see it on you, okay? This person imbalanced. And you make good money. I don't know. I think new beginnings and things happen very, like, natural for you. The nine of pentacles, the temperance, and then the ace of pentacles. There's ten pentacles right here. You know how to balance your money. You know how to balance yourself. You're not in everybody's face. You don't need validation. This person does. Okay, and they want to gaslight. Spirit, clarify that page of wands. This person's a very much of a chatty person. You think that they really just would... Yeah, look. 
chariot. Move away from the ass. Look how the page of wands is looking one direction and the chariot's the other. Look, look. Dodge him, Taurus. Three of wands in the reverse. This person wants you to turn your back on everything. Not turn your back. They want you stuck. This person wants you stuck. It made me think of that hangman that I just saw. They want you stuck. Okay, babe? Mm -mm. I think not. Not today. We're trying to send her backfired on them. Look at this. The nine of swords is the first thing that came out. So, Taurus, if you said a prayer, <laughs> if you said a rebuke, you say in the name of Jesus, even if it's in your mindset, Taurus, okay? You ain't got to say it out loud. Ace of Cups. You are loved, okay, Taurus? You are respected in the spiritual realm, okay? But you're also given this information here, Taurus, so listen to your intuition. Get more information if you have to. If that's what's going to make you feel comfortable. But you have your angels actually guiding you and actually showing you, Taurus. And you know what? A lot of people may say, well, why does it matter if somebody's against me? Well, honey, they can tear your whole life apart with just gossiping. You can give your energy to people that are energy vampires. They can take that energy away and then you feel exhausted being around these people because they see how kind and loving you are and they go around spreading rumors and things like that. And you may not care about rumors, Taurus, but your character is important. So you are who you hang with. So they're, they're, it could, they could be a fire sign. Don't have to be. It could be a fire sign, a water sign. I'm getting here, an earth sign. Okay, it could be a Libra. It doesn't matter. But Spirit's actually giving you the information, Taurus, to actually get away from this person or individuals. They ain't talking about nothing special. Okay? But the return of sender backfired on them. Nine of Swords. This person worries about you a lot, Taurus, if you whether you know it or not. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. How you naturally attract attention how you naturally are able to speak your truth how you actually have your truth that's on you and in you it's like you don't have to dress in big nice garments you don't have to buy gucci belts and shit you're just naturally blessed you're naturally anointed and someone's frustrated and jealous of that but the way they take care of that is to hate they take care of that is to slew they take care of that to to drag your name in the mud or to actually like be sending you like word magic Things like that. They're the worst thing. And they're sitting there in their head for some of you. You would not think they would. But they'll stand there in their head and just be like, I wish the worst thing will ever happen to you. You just fucking never know. Okay? But this individual, this energy is just, uh-uh. Why was I being told to grab this deck while I was about to do y'all's reading? I had a complete other reading in mind. But I'm like, spirit, it's all good. Yeah, Taurus. We have the Wheel of Fortune and the Four of Swords here. Okay? What they've actually done, Taurus, is they've amplified your spiritual path. They've amplified your intuition. They've amplified you being able to learn how to lay things to rest and leave people where they at, where they live. Gossiping, traitors, and things like that. Look at I just said where they live. Look at that. Five of Pentacles. They on the inside, Taurus, don't feel worthy enough. So what they do is, Taurus, they try to test your strength, Taurus. They try to test it. But your back is towards that Five of Pentacles because that's not where you are anymore. This might be somebody you've been knowing since you were a child. Somebody you've been knowing at work that you used to always sit and gossip with and things like that. And Taurus, you've been making some changes, been growing. Okay? You've been growing and taking care of yourself. I mean, everything, Taurus, that you need to do to make yourself feel better. Not feel better, but do better. To know your importance, to know your value. This person doesn't want you to know it. And then another fact is that this person sees that you get it naturally. It comes to you. It's like you're a shining star. And someone cannot take that. Return to center backfired on them, Spirit. What we got? Yep. I told you. So you re you lay it to rest, Taurus. You sit in your meditative state. The will, things turn in your favor and they're stuck in this nine of swords energy that they got to get themselves out of. And Taurus, here you are moving forward, moving forward, Taurus, away from that damn bullshit that we saw at the very beginning with that. It, baby, we saw this with the magician at the very beginning. Okay. The page of pentacles. All right. This person wants to conversate with you. And it's just like, it's weird. Not a swords. Yeah, they come in with wrong information. They come in with wrong information, Taurus. Like, look what I got to tell you, Taurus. I got to tell you this, this, and that. Somebody said this and that. Y'all, this could be family members. It don't have to be a work situation. See, look, I can't make this shit up. Clarifying the not of swords, because I want to clarify that, is a seven of swords. They, they, they off. And this person, like, really wants to feel in some way, shape, or form, Taurus, that they have the power to knock you off what you're doing. Some of you Taurus are on a very, very serious path of trying to heal and grow, okay? Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Ten of Cups and the Eight of Cups. They want you to walk away, Taurus, from your own value, from your own importance, from you respecting yourself. You might think it's not a big deal, Taurus, but this is the message that's coming out very heavy. Look at this. I secretly want you to cheat on your current partner with me. I won't say a word. It don't have to be you cheating on somebody, Taurus. It could be somebody just, I secretly want you to fail, okay? And let me be the one to be able to help you and watch you and watch your downfall. I won't. T I won't even tell you a word. You won't even notice it. That's what that also could be meaning. It's strange. It's a weird feeling. And Taurus, you might have invested a lot of emotions or shared with this person a lot of things. Walk away. 
walk away. Simply do that. Go and celebrate Taurus on your own. You see one person in here. You know not normally the three of cups, normally got three people celebrating Taurus. Celebrate with spirit gods. Mm-hmm. Celebrate your spirit gods. Because you fucking around with this person and celebrating with them, they're going to be taken from you. And the more they take, the more three of swords you'll feel. Yep, slowly but surely. And spirit's trying to guide you to see something before it even happens. To feel it. To know something's just not okay. Uh-uh. Spirit, give me some of that hunger. Page of cups. Page of cups. And then we have the moon. This person's punk. Okay, spirit, I'm sorry. Y'all know how I feel about the punk-ass cup. Do you know that, Taurus? Y'all know? If you don't know, now you know. To me, sometimes... Okay. Sometimes, Taurus. I'm going to be real. Sometimes this cup means nothing to me as a reader. It feels like a punk-ass sorry. It feels like someone that will disrespect you so damn loud that the whole entire universe will hear it. But when it comes to that respecting you, they don't have that respect as loud. That apology won't be as loud. It's a punk-ass cup. Look, the fish is even trying to get the hell out of it. I'm not coming here to this party. You're going to make me look stupid while you're trying to apologize with that feather on your head. And you don't mean nothing. Look at you. Boots and everything. Are you even standing in the emotions? No, you're standing on cracks. To me, it looks like it. You're lying. <laughs> Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, energy Taurus with the moon next to it. Somebody still got something behind them. Like they got some secrets or something they just don't want you to know. And then I see those birds going across the moon. They look like they kind of like messengers. Like, you know, you can accept the apology. You can accept the little emotional offer. But deep down inside, this person's hunger is for more. Okay, they want more. It's like you might have caught this person in some lies or something. You just like, you know, I, I really appreciate it. You know, if you wouldn't tell everybody, you know, what I told you. And it's kind of getting around. <laughs> and they'll be like, oh, my God, I'm Taurus. Oh, I'm so sorry. Taurus, I'm so sorry. I didn't know. I didn't you should have told me. Quit lying with your, with your vampire energized bunny having eaten ass because you can't find your own energy you, you don't want to put in words you don't know your own words okay and you want to come to us like you priceless oh no you're not no you're not you're slick seven of swords okay the king of wands here i don't trust that mother the, the magician the six of cups whatever i don't trust none of that especially that snake on that leg bruh you ain't gonna tell me about that bite that snake bite you got that you're trying to give to me uh -uh, i ain't got the antidote you can't talk about my business you're not going to know about what I'm doing. Spirit's actually telling you, babe, to use your intuition, Taurus. And I think you're going to do just that. I think a lot of you already know who the hell this is. It could be a group. Oh, my God. Please don't tell me it's a click or anything like that. Ain't you? Ain't you? Okay. Mean girls, mean boys, whatever the hell it is. Yep, six of wands. You're going to be successful anyways, Taurus. Somebody likes the attention on them, like I said. They have to do extra to have the attention on them. Taurus, it comes to you naturally. People naturally want to be drawn to you. Not a cup to the bottom of the deck. People naturally want to come to you and tell you what's going on in their lives and things like that. It's natural. It's natural. Your energy. It's natural. Six of Wands, Spirit. It's natural. You're going to be successful in closing out this old punk-ass cycle as well. Okay, Taurus? You're going because look at you. It's natural. I'm sorry, but honestly. Seeing here, we saw the Empress. Okay. But some of you are in this energy where you're transitioning to this Empress energy by using your intuition. You're being gifted the having the mindset to determine and to know when something's false and when something's real. Because your intuition, like I said, is being lit. Okay, it's like being lit by something. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of person this is, romantic, whatever they are, you're going to know. But that's why we keep going back from Empress to Nine of Pentacles. Because Nine of Pentacles is kind of pre-Empress energy. They see you like this. They see you like this. Once you start, you know, you don't have to be mean and cut people off. Like, okay, I want you to be ban banished and all that. No. You just simply just stop giving them information. You just simply just start, oh, you know, I got something to go do. Taurus, you don't have to be mean about it. But I'm definitely telling you, this person sees you like this. The Nine of Pentacles and the Sun. That is absolutely beautiful. This King of Wands looks like he's kind of in the dark. Okay, like he has some type of fire behind him. And we know it's a fire card. It's a fire sign. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sag, whatever have you. But this person has to like buy people's affection, buy their attention, do flashy things. that <gasps> People are just like, oh my God. You know, it's like, what? 
And then Taurus, when you step in, it's just natural. This is the sun, baby. Okay. When you walk up in a room, you tell motherfucker, "Hey, baby, I hope you, I hope you're prepared and got your shades." Because guess what? Here, Taurus comes through. They coming through the building, honey, and they're not going in another direction because you're jealous, no, or that you feel some type of way, no. Get you some, okay? Get you some intuition and start using it correctly. Tell this person. You don't have to tell them. I'll tell them for you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Five of Wands. And then look, see? See? Look at this. We have the Nine of Pentacles, the Sun, and then we got the uh, the uh, High Priestess. And then look, the Five of Wands right after that. This person is at as in competition with you, okay? And to some of you, don't be like, Lauren, nah, what the hell are you talking about? What I just said. What I just said, it makes complete sense. This reading, if you don't, if you don't, if it makes you feel confused, stuff, baby, it's not for you. But somebody it was, it was meant to have this, this, uh, this message, okay? Because soon as I sat down, like, okay, I did my, I did my Palo Santo, and then because it takes forever, so I don't want to take most of the reading up with doing that. So, and then I sit for a minute, and I meditate. I meditate for like maybe about six, seven minutes. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I don't, I don't sit here for twenty minutes meditating, y'all. If y'all the kids in the background. Now they're trying to yank at my damn uh, jacket. My Not my jacket, but my robe. Arr, just all these things going on in my house. <laughs> I can't meditate like that. Okay? Sometimes I can, but it's very <laughs> closing messages. Y'all, literally, like, it looks like, um, it looks like what you would think, Taurus. Like, <laughs> you see every scene, every those scenes where everything's just going crazy and, you know, you got a kid over there pouring paint on the carpet. You got another one putting spaghetti on the wall. You got one dog over there like, trying to yank at a shoe or yank at something, pulling it. <laughs> That's not how my house is, but it just, it gets to that almost. It's, but it makes me happy. I love it. It just, it feels good. And me being a single mom, you know, it's like, shit, you know, I got this, you know, and it just makes me feel good inside. One day I'm going to have a king that's going to be added to me and I'm just... He's not going to mind it either. He, go, he probably won't have him a set of headphones or something. You know what I'm saying, Anyway, I just thought that was funny. I brought that up. <laughs> so, and then I sat here and I was doing that. And, you know, besides little fur Scorpio back there, she was trying to bite at my robe. And she was just like trying to pull it out. I was like, Nala. Like, it, <laughs> it was at the end of my meditation. And so, like, I stopped meditating. I was like, wow. So, I thought I was going to pretty much do just a basically based on love and things like that. No, it came out to be something else. I was I was drawn towards these cards. Let me show you, Taurus. This is only, <laughs> like, a page of all the decks that I have. Okay? I'm not going to show you the rest. It, it would, we would be here for another hour. Okay? But these are, like, the ones that I have right here. And I never go towards this this container here. By the way, got it from, if you want to know, got it from Hobby Lobby. Okay, I need somewhere to put my decks, you know. Um, anyway, so <laughs> that deck, where's that? Oh, it's in here right now, okay. Something's like Lauren, that deck, that deck. I don't really pull these, but for personal readings, if someone's wanted to know something. But I was drawn to that. After I was doing the meditation, I'm like, Nala, maybe you screwed up my message. But no, she didn't. I was really pulled to draw them. So first cards that we got out. Sorry, Taurus, for the long chat. Okay, first card we got out was rewards. It looked like it came out in the re in the reverse. Someone wants to take these away from you. Okay? You are naturally blessed. You are naturally covered. I'm not saying this person isn't, but they'd rather not be. It's like, Taurus, you keep things to your damn self. You don't go out... Maybe some of y'all flash your money. Taurus, you like nice things, and that's okay. Crosswalker, you like nice things, that's okay. But this individual or people you're around, they have to pay their way for someone to look up from what they're doing. Do you know what I mean? Does that, that may not make sense. It says you're cashing in all the good works you've done. Raises, bonuses, and prosperity are coming in. Keep going and keep growing. Look at this. I mean, just, we saw the Ace of Pentacles a little bit ago. Toward like, look at this. And then with the Magician, we saw that baby coin, the baby page of Pentacles. And nothing wrong with the page of Pentacles. Nothing wrong with the, the, the pages at all. It's just that what I'm picking up around the energy. And then here we have, babe, listen to this, Taurus. Outside forces, unknown figures are driving the situation and you may not be able to control the outcome. <clears throat> this cycle will shift soon and you will be okay. It's just, I know. I'm just, uh-uh. <laughs> okay? And I feel in this most situation, Taurus, this is something you can control. Walk away. Listen to your intuition. If you need to get more information to be sure, go on ahead and do it. But Spirit's going to actually tell you, look, Taurus, no. Is that my friend? They got my best interest at heart? No. 
Do they want the best for me? No. <laughs> Are they talking great things about people behind my back? No. <laughs> do they understand my do they understand my path? No. <laughs> you know, like spirit keeps saying. Okay, you can get more information if you want to, but for this is for someone and it's not for everybody. And I get that, babe, okay? Now towards let me get some positive enforcement out here. <laughs> for Taurus too. Oh, um, okay, Spirit, I'll take him, you know. I'll take him, I'll take him. Okay, Taurus, it says, realize you have all the qualities to be a leader. And that's another thing I'm getting here, especially with that, with that higher fit coming out with the Justice card. It's like, you have all the qualities you need. You have all the qualities to be a leader. And naturally, Taurus, you don't have to go buy a nice-ass car to look like a leader. You don't have to go buy a big-ass watch to be a leader. You don't have to go out there and buy a nice-ass jacket that's made from Louis Vuitton to be a leader. No. Maybe they do that. Maybe they don't. I don't know, but it's something like that. It's like someone has to do um, earthly... Um, they have earthly... Such earthly desires. Or they acquire... They find money to be the only thing that's great. But your spirituality, Taurus, your nature is natural. I hope y'all understand, babe. I'm sorry. You have special gifts. Never surrender to normal. Exactly, Taurus. Exactly. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, babe. Look at that. Taurus. I love this energy for you. You know, I just like it. Crosswatcher, what's up? Nice energy. Beautiful. Okay, you have special gifts. And they're naturally, they're given to you by the divine. Okay, and you have these qualities naturally. You don't have to try to. It's like, it's okay if this person has to buy nice things and things to be showing off. But it's like somebody's like really wanting to throw you up under the bus. It's weird. And spirits say these are outside forces, Taurus. Okay, unknown figures are driving the situation. Like it's it's like this person may do they may do some magic or some I don't know. I don't want to get deep into that because then we'll be in here for about an hour. Like you know, but. Um, you know what I'm saying, Taurus. You'll get what you wish for, but is it truly what you want? So some of you, Taurus, might be having these in um, some type of way of like feeling like um, there there might be some way of you wanting to actually like have what someone else is having. And spirits like you know what is granted to you, Taurus, what you've been manifesting. You're gonna get that, but is it truly what you want? And Taurus, it's okay if you say yes. It is what I want. <laughs> Like, just smile. You bitch. I, yes, it is what I want. Don't question me. Who are you? Like, I know, Taurus. Look, we got the spiritual work at the top of the deck here. Okay? You're being held in, in high honor. I don't know if I'm getting that. Doing some inner work can help you get clear before you move on. You'll get insights into what work will, what work will best serve your needs. Okay? So someone's trying to spiritually attack you in some way or form. They don't like it coming off you naturally. They know what it is. They're just like, well, how did you get it? And I didn't. And it's like, I don't know. <laughs> it's like, Taurus, you sit there in your mind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm just blessed. I'm, 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 I'm favored. I'm anointed, and they could be the same way too, Taurus, but they're kind of being weird about 3333 three, 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 when I just said that. So, Taurus, I love y'all to the moon and back, boo, okay? I love you guys so much. I hope that you guys take care, Taurus. Please, babe, stay in your joyful, peaceful, powerful, optimistic energy. Be optimistic, not optimistic energy. Be optimistic. Be, be, know your value. Be discerning, Taurus. Be confident in yourself. Nothing wrong with it. But, baby, it comes off of you naturally in a sexy ass fuck, okay? <laughs> You're so handsome. You're so beautiful. Let me see. It's naturally coming off of you, Torres, and I like it. I do. I do, Torres. I. Mm -hmm. Maybe you feel some type of way, Torres, over here. What you doing, Torres, over there with that natural energy? No, I ain't trying to cipher it from you. No, no, no. I'm not hunger for it, Taurus, but it's very intriguing. I love y'all, Taurus, so much. I hope you have a very, 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 very,